Hello, hello, hello! It's Preston here, and I'm gonna do a tutorial today. I was recently asked to touch on some drawing tips for people that are artists and those that want to learn to draw. I was asked to do a number of different subjects that I could count on with my fingers. The one that came up the most was how to draw or paint hands. I was shocked to see how many people actually wanted me to do this and I looked through my art and I was surprised to see that people wanted to see my way of making hands. So here are five tips that I'll give you to help improve your artist's journey into making hands on your illustrations. So take my hand and let's get started. Now the first section was going to be basic shapes. Uh, basic shapes are someone Thing that helps anyone grab a hold onto the different mechanisms of an object. This is easy as a hand is super complex <laughs> and is a combination of spheres, boxes, and cylinders. You can see on this thumb just how complex each finger is and that can be done for hand with these different shapes. With all these simple shapes, the hand is still an organic object and has more shapes to it, you know, adding the different fats or muscles and ligaments. Fingers have three bones, you know, the simple things, making these cylinders as well and can make things move a little better. This is just one way to simplify the hand and can be used to put hands into a perspective and this can make illustrations look just that much better. Now the second one is gonna be structure part two, which is spacing. Now the, the spacing hands are rough and slightly the size of someone's face from the tip of the middle finger to the bottom of the palm. You can put that up to your face and you know, face palm yourself now. <laughs> you can see that the next spacing tip that I've observed with these is actually putting hands together you can see that if you stretch your hands out and move them together you can have them holding each other's hands which I think is very cute that our hands are built that way. With this I found that the arches of each hand can actually help make things a little easier for people to generally get the perspective of the hands and the proportions of the hands into a good position. Another thing is that the palm and the middle finger are about the same length and that can help you out with keeping proportions straight on the hands. The next th section for this is style. Uh, style is going to be a different situation because um, that's going to be how each person does their own hands. Now I have three different types here. One, the first one is by George Bridgman. He's a very uh, traditional artist and he simplifies the gesture and the shapes of the hands to give off the essence of what the hands shape should be. While the next one is the most common anime hands which are more simplified with line art around the silhouette and the overlapping lines to give off the form of the hands and give an exaggeration of what the personality of the characters are. The last one is Disney, which is a shape-driven hand style that pushes the form a lot more, making things soft for kids and movement for animation. Movement is the next part. I know not many artists can cover this tip, but movement, I feel, is a huge part of the hand. One thing I learned recently is that ligaments are used to move the fingers as one. Uh, with this knowledge, we're originally designed to move all at, one, at once and later changed to tell the different fingers to stop moving with the other fingers. This actually got me to think of the feet and how the toes usually move as one and not separate for the most part. And this is definitely something that you can see the different ways that we've grown into being more of a uh, 
on our feet working dexterly, dexterly with our hands. And I just thought that was interesting. And I always, I always think that having a better understanding of how something works, the better you can draw it with all that in mind. Now the final part of this is the coloring. This is gonna be the longer part because I did do a little bit more of a render for each of these. So the, with this final tip of this being coloring, because most people comment the way they like my coloring, uh, I think that this tip would be very good. Now a tip is to remember human beings skin is colored by melon. We are all different shades of the same orangish color. This is because some of our ancestors had more sun to deal with than others. And other than the test out your shadings on basic shapes and you should be able to get where you want to be to shade and color hands, it's definitely different for each person because these different tips, I used different forms of orange in this spot and I think that it's definitely something going to be a little good tip for everyone to follow and get things moving. Now I'll let this finish rendering and we'll get to the end but I'll leave off with uh, something that one of my professors at school taught me when I was in college. The hands and head are the most important part of the figure. You get that down, you'll be good. Thank you everyone for watching the video up to here. Check down the links in the bio to check my artwork from past events as well as you know supporting me on Patreon and checking out my store. I would like to thank all of my Patreon supporters that have been able to help me so far and get things moving and hopefully we can get things into a good spot and I hope to hear from all of you in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, make it so that if you want this tip to be known by more, these tips, um, share it, let more people know. Thank you again for helping me out and commenting. Please give me suggestions of what you guys would like to learn next and we'll move things forward from there. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Bye.